Hey guys, this is Ryan here from DetectApple.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Siri on your iOS 5.1.1 device. So first off, you do have to be jailbroken and you do have to have Cydia. So go ahead and click on Cydia, open it up, and then go ahead and go to the bottom, click Manage, Sources, Edit, and Add. And now you're going to type in repo.byte your apple.net and go ahead and click add source add anyway and then you're just going to wait for it to update the sources and I'll be back with you in a second and go click return to Cydia and then click on the bite your apple source and then go ahead way to the bottom and you'll see something called acid Siri go ahead and click on it and then you're going to want to click install. You can do this on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or even your iPad. So go, go ahead and click install, confirm, and just let it download. It's going to take some time. It's a big file. I believe it is over 100 MB. If you do remember, there was something on iOS 5.0.1. It was called Spire, but it no longer is compatible with iOS 5.1.1 because Apple did something and changed Siri within. And Acid Siri is actually illegal, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it anyways just for the purpose of a how-to. And after about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes after it's done downloading, you'll get a screen like this and it'll finally start installing Acid Siri. This probably will take another few minutes depending on how fast your device is and what type of device you have. And Siri should finally now be installed. It should say installed Acid Siri and you will have to reload your springboard after that. So just go ahead and click the button. And now as if it were a new iPod, you're going to have to go through settings just like this and it shouldn't take long so just go ahead and click skip and finally you'll get to a screen about Siri click use Siri and then next and then you can start using your device once again now you will have all your applications and everything still because it only installed it and it wanted you to enable it so after that you just go into your settings panel and in general settings you should see Siri in here you can go ahead and turn it on enable Siri and you can set up all the settings in here but there is one problem you will need a proxy for Siri so you're gonna have to go into the acid Siri settings and you'll have to find a proxy host now a lot of them do cost money it's not a big charge I believe you can get lifetime Siri for around fifteen dollars on a lot of the proxy hosts so in the description below I will leave a few notable hosts that you can go with that are cheap and reliable and in the comments below, if you have any suggested hosts, just tell me and I will add it to the list. Anyways, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what you think about this video below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.